guys and welcome back to this tutorial. Uh, we are going to set up some impact effects so when our projectiles hit objects they cause different effects such as an explosion. So we have our uh, blueprint of our rocket launcher ammo here and the first thing we need to do is add a um, collision box to it. When you add this, it tends to, um, sometimes if I scale down the box and then move things in a different way, it'll scale down the, the mesh and do some weird things. So the way I found to do this best was to first with the box at the same level as the ammo in this um, hierarchy here, scale it down to the size that you need. And I'll, I'll give you an example here. Now that that's scaled down, we need to make the box the root element of the scene or else it won't work right. So we need to move it up here. But when we do that, it shrinks down the uh, ammo. And that really doesn't work out. So the only way I've really found to fix this is to drag our particle system and our rocket launcher ammo under the box collision and then move the box collision up. For some reason, that seems to work better. Now, this box collision, we need to do a couple settings on it. So we need to simulate physics because we need to know when it hits something. We need to click simulate, um, simulation generate hit events. And we should change the collision presets to block all. Down here, these are different events that can be generated by the box. And we want the on component hit event. So we'll hit the plus sign and it'll open up a blueprint showing the uh, blueprint for the hit event. So when the object hits, we're going to take this hit event and we're going to break it. And this is going to give us a lot of different information about the hit uh, where it occurred, what it hit, all those sorts of things. So once we hit something, we're going to want to do our particle effects. So spawn, emitter, at location. We're going to use the location. I'm going to use the impact point. That's the specific spot where the projectile hit something else. And the pack that we were using has a rocket launcher explosion in the pack already. And right after that, we want to destroy. So then there's not just tons of it flying all over the scene. So let's compile. Save that. And then we're going to do the same thing for our uh, pistol ammo. So I'm going to open up the blueprint for that. And so it's a little hard to see here, but the ammo is right in the middle, middle of the particle effects. So we're going to add a box collision again. And we're going to scale this down quite a bit. And that looks good. All right. And then again, we're going to move our mesh and our particle under the box and then move the box to the root of the scene. All right, perfect. Um, then again, we're going to use that box collision and we're going to do we're going to change the settings on it. So we're going to simulate physics, physics, we're going to generate the hit events. We're going to change 
our collision presets to block all. Then we'll go down and create an on hit event. And we can go back and copy the hit event we use for the rocket launcher. We're going to connect the hit. Then we're going to spawn an emitter. And for this one, um, found the impact metal medium seemed to work good. File and save that. So let's go ahead and play our game and see if this is working properly. having an issue uh, with the game loading and the character loading before the world okay so and uh it actually looks uh trial of the rocket launcher just trying to Look, we're having a few. Okay, so it does look like it's working. Um, sometimes, as you see the animation, the hands moving around, and since we're launching right from the end of the gun, sometimes it's aimed down. And that's something we need to fix in one of the future tutorials is the aim of the gun, because right now uh, we can aim left and right, but no matter what, we can't change the height. switch over to the pistol and as you see when I shot as it hits different locations it creates a spark effect now the other thing we can do is use the same process to play a sound So we could do play sound at location. Let's see what we have. Um, for now, let's try Let's try this uh, rifle impact body one. See how that works. So it's working okay, but I do see that um, it looks like we're colliding. Uh, sometimes the collision events are triggered early. So something we can do is go back to our rocket launcher and our pistol. Okay, so here's the pistol. And we can set an owner and an instigator. And these will help ignore uh, the collisions with the owner if the bullet hits yourself. Other thing we can do is change the collision handling overrides. And we can have it so it tries to adjust the location. But we still want it to spawn. So for this, uh, 
by bringing the owner and instigator to Do a reference to self for the owner. For the instigator, it's looking for a pawn. So uh, get player. Let's do get player character. And uh, let's do that on our rocket launcher as well. All right, let's see if that uh, works any better for us. So it looks like the bullet's flying out. And then we can hear the impacts. Uh, we may need to change the voxels to block all because it seems like some of the impacts aren't quite making it. I've also heard that if the bullet travels too fast, sometimes the game has a hard time catching the impact. So either slowing that down or using some code that would change that. Uh, now let's try the rocket launcher. Uh, we haven't set any explosion noises for that. So let's go back and do a play sound at location. We're going to use this impact point again. Check. Did we? We never set a location for this uh, rifle sound. So let's see how that works in a minute. All right. Um, go back to the rocket launcher. And let's see here. Rocket launcher explosion. There's a few different ones here. Um, one idea would be to vary between these so then it's random each time uh, as each explosion probably sounds different in the real world. But I'm just giving one second as it's having a hard time. Loading the game. All right, so. Yeah, in case we're having some issues with how with colliding with the voxel terrain, let's uh, bring in a cube. And let's uh, make sure this cube is set to simulate physics, generate hit events. To block all. Now let's go ahead and see how that reacts. One trick if you're having a hard time loading quick enough is to move your player start up a little. Hopefully the world will load in.
quicker or before the player hits the ground. Uh, however, in the future, we may want to make something where uh, we wait for the world to load before we spawn the player. We just haven't gotten that far. See as the bullet's hitting, it's causing the spark and creating a noise. We'll switch to our rocket launcher. Have the impact. And because our cube is a physics object, and so is our uh, rocket, because the rocket has a good amount of momentum and force, it's actually moving that around. The the rifle has the same idea, but because the bullet is so small, it doesn't do much to the large cube. Anyways, uh, that's the beginnings of, you know, sounds and impacts and particle effects when uh, using projectiles. Uh, thanks for sticking around with me and uh, I hope to see you on the next tutorial. Thanks.